Um, you know, the, I mean, I'll just, well, let me just tell you the story a little bit. There was a lot of cohesion in the robotics community and everyone just had to start over every single time. Where it takes years to make even incremental improvements or add even small capabilities because you essentially are starting from scratch. And if we could upend that, if we could create a common uh, platform that we could all build on, the world would just change really quickly. Willow Garage was this really kind of strange place just strange enough to be able to bring the community together. It, it, it looked like people were having too much fun to be doing serious work. It became this almost mythical place. There were these incredible robots doing incredible things. It was a little bit research lab. It was a little bit open source development lab. It was to make robotics better as fast as possible. ROS stands for Robot Operating System. I mean, it's, it's, you gotta be careful what you name things. ROS is not an operating system. I think of it as just the stuff that makes everything work, so we tend to refer to it as the plumbing. That notion, that core idea that I can use ROS and combine it with everybody else's best of breed stuff, that's a really powerful idea, and that idea spread like wildfire. You get a whole bunch of young people, you bring them to some place, you teach them ROS, and then you say, go back to school and convert all your robots to ROS. And that's what kind of happened. And then without that one common platform that everybody's building on and contributing to and enabling people to build on each other, without that common platform that brings the community together, robotics would definitely not be where it is today. You know, this was uh, a catalyst, and this was the chance to kind of really do something big for the world. <laughs>